What's up guys, Casper here, and today I'm going to be doing a smoke tutorial inside of Cinema 4D. Something that will be pretty much a uh, good end to an intro of some sort, so like you end up with your text and then you can have a like, fly away with smoke. And you'd be like, oh boy, it's pretty good. Yeah, anyway, let's get started. First, what you want to do, make some text. Center it up. No, actually, I'm gonna pick my font right now. Find some, find some good font. That looks pretty fancy right about now. Okay, depth. Change that to whatever you want. I'm gonna do mine to about ninety. Add some caps. Some fillet caps. Looking good so far. Okay, now what you want to do is change the name of it if you haven't done so already. So I'm going to name mine to Smoke. And then if you don't have this plugin right now, I'll probably put a link to the guy's website in the description. It's by a guy named Nitroman3D, I'm pretty sure. Throusy. It's pretty good plugin. Um, I'm using Veronin, whatever it is. Um, you can either use random or that. I like this because it has more um, smooth edges. So change the pieces to about 20. Break now. Just wait for it to break pretty much. Da 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 da. <sighs> yeah, so breaking up some pieces. That's how we do it. And we're done. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Alright. That's not looking pretty cool at all. So if that happens, you guys can just control Z it. Control Z until it's back to normal. Um, in that case, you might want to change up your caps a little bit to like three, three steps maybe. Probably look better. And then try it again. I'm just gonna use regular now. I'm just gonna do ten for time's sake. Well, we didn't. You make sure you select your text first. Okay, it's good enough. Um, don't even mess with that now. All right, once you're here, you want to enable all these. So they're green checks now. Highlight all of them. Go to MoGraph with them all highlighted. Make a tracer. Make sure all of them are selected. And if they're not, just never mind, because you need to select them and then make it. Everything there is good. Select a tracer, go to MoGraph, make a matrix. Change the mode to object, drag in your tracer. Then you want to change your count, which is your particles, to about 60, 55 to 60. I'm going to do 60 in this case. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, also for your pieces here, you can't, you need to do this actually. Well, you don't need to do this, but it's good for what we're doing right now. Um, custom initial velocity with all of them selected, all your, uh, rigid body selected. This is just, it'll just blow up some way, so let's do like 320 by 900 by 900. Then 320 by 900 by 900. Then play. Yeah. So those are just these things right there are because of uh. Yeah. Those are the particles from the matrix. 
trying to see why the uh, particles don't break up. Um, anyway, it's not that big of a deal. You can just do it with uh, your letters. Just have them like blow up. Uh, yeah. So, what you want to do from here, if you render it out, you can see there's nothing. So, you want to go, if you're in R12, you want to go to Simulation, Thinking Particles, Particle Geometry. And if you're in 11.5, Objects, Particles, uh, Thinking Particles, and Particle Geometry. And then you want to ooh, get rid of, oh well, yeah, it'll come up with a few of these things, but since I had to cut it twice, it'll come up with a lot. Uh, I'm gonna make a color for my text first of all. I'm gonna make that a greenish color. Add some reflection. Add that to my fracture objects, which is not applying. Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. There we go. So that's good. Got the material applied. It's looking nice. And then um, you want to go file, shader, pyro cluster, shader, pyro cluster volume tracer. Change the volume crate tracer to user. Step size 25. Pyro cluster, smoke, yes, darken it up, change the density a little bit, don't need that, and then yeah, that's good enough, and exit out, so then you apply your smoky pyro cluster to your particle geometry, and then you have to make an environment and then apply your pyro cluster weird thingy to your environment play that out render it hmm wonder what I did wrong oh um in the matrix make sure you select under generate change that to thinking particles yeah that's a problem Yep, and there we go. Hmm. Wait for that to render out. Bam, you got some smoke. And uh, if you don't like the way it appears, you can change the smoke in the pyro cluster. Uh, this one right here, you can change that up, the brightness and density. Or you can change up the other pyro cluster thing. Try changing that to 20. See if that'll put a really a change on this. It might just affect the overall like how it moves and all that the smoke, like the clumping and stuff like that. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, change the pyro cluster thing to 20. That's much much better. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for. Um, watching and uh, yeah mess around with this make it your own do whatever you want add it to an intro um, yeah thanks guys